Yo, what's going on? All my homies, homies, do's and do this. It's your boy Will back again with the Will Report and talking about what I wore last week, all week. So I started out last week on Monday. I started out with this fragrance right here. This is Mason Alhambra's John Lowe Immortal. And this one is a, a fresh fragrance. It's an uh, impression of Louis Vuitton's uh, Lumicite, which is a very bright, good fragrance for the summer. Really, really good fragrance for the summer, even though it's still spring. But it has uh, top notes of like bergamot, ginger, I think grapefruit. And then in the base, it has this amber and uh and then broxin that brings it all together oh my goodness so good this is a really really good fragrance for the summertime and that base of amber it just brings it a little bit warmer and i actually makes it a little bit more um intimate when it dries down gets to dry down and it's a long lasting fragrance too for uh summer fragrance this lasted pretty long so that's why i wore on monday so then on Tuesday, I went with this. I know a lot of people are not all that crazy about this, but this is Mr. Burberry's, but this is Mr. Burberry's uh, EDP. And the one good thing about this, I don't know if this is gonna show up really good, but this bottle has the notes there on the side, but this is pretty close to the original EDT, uh, Mr. Burberry, except for Ah, oh, yeah, this is uh, a summer fragrance also, but again, it's still the spring. And this one has some notes of, it has grapefruit in it also, but it has a lavender and it has a mint note in it that makes it really fresh. It almost comes off as kind of a barbershop kind of style. And then the base notes, it has some sandalwood and amber that warms it up a little bit. This is not really a super long lasting fragrance, but it's good. I like it. I know a lot of people don't like the whole Mr. Burberry because of the, you know, the bottle. And some people say it's just pretty basic or whatever. But the EDP, it's a good one. I enjoyed it. That's why I wore on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I reached back for this one. This is a discontinued fragrance, but I have a, I think I've heard that they were going to bring this back. This is Berlans. Gnome Ideal, the Cologne. They did make uh, something else that was supposed to replace this. I think it was called Sport or something like that with the same type of notes, but it didn't smell exactly the same. This one has, again, it has that grapefruit in it. And, and that spray is great too. But the, the key note in this one is the almond that brings it all together, which calms it down. Well, I won't say calm it down. It makes it not as bright where it feels a little bit more cozy where some uh, summer fragrances are just focus on, you know, the citruses and just just bright and uplifting. This one has the citruses in it, but at the same time, it has an almond note, which brings it together and makes it a little bit warmer where it's almost like a date kind of scent for the summertime. This was a really, really good fragrance for that day. And oh, man. But yeah, like I said, this discontinue if you can find it at a reasonable price. I think now a bottle like this may be going for about three hundred. But um, look for a decan if you can. If you can, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday. I wouldn't grab this one. This fragrance is a great fragrance. The smell of it is great. It just doesn't last that long. Well, this is. Jimmy Choo Man Ice. This is a great fragrance, a very bright lemony fragrance. It smells like lemon ice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells similar to a couple of other fragrances also, but this one doesn't last too long. It has um, it has the Centrion in it, which is uh, kind of a fresher version of some of the uh, citrus notes. And it has... Uh, mandarin orange and apple and 
It has uh, Ambroxan in it and Musk, which usually kind of, uh, Ambroxan usually kind of makes the fragrance push out a little bit further so you can get noticed. And while it's working, you will get noticed, but it just doesn't last. And I, Ambroxan usually makes things last a little bit longer. Not with this one. And I think this is probably like a maybe a three, maybe four hour fragrance, but you really have to carry a decan around if you're using this one. There's some other fragrances that last longer than this that uh, had the same scent profile. So on Friday, I reached back for an old, old classic. This is an old classic. One of our, I think everybody's favorite. This is Burberry's Touch for Men. Uh, Touch, remember that song, Touch by Amaria. This fragrance, oh my goodness, this is so good. This is an old fragrance, but... It still wins. It still knocks it out of the park today. It has some um, some lavender leaf in here. It has, um, I think it has some musk in the base. But this is a really um, almost kind of a sexual type of fragrance, but a fresh sexual kind of fragrance. This is really, really nice. Oh, my goodness. It just smells. It's also nostalgic because it's like I said, it's an older fragrance, but that's what I wore on Friday. And I love the wood hand, uh, top. This is really nice. And the bottle shape is a different kind of shape of any other bottle, too. So, yeah, that's what I wore on Friday. Touch, touch. Boom, boom, boom. So on Saturday, this is a pretty special one by Navatos Parfums. This is Lavos. Latos. And this one is actually a fragrance made by a content um, YouTube content producer by the uh, name of uh, Stephen. Stephen from Red Lessons. He was the creative director for this. And it was one of this is one of his fragrances. I think he has maybe about I don't know how many fragrances. He started out with three and then he had five and then I think it was seven. So I don't know how many he has now. But anyway, this one, and this is a really nice package too. I don't know if I had this on uh, my favorite packages with presentations, but this is a really nice presentation. This is a sample bottle, but it's pressurized. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But this is a really great fragrance. It's really lavender heavy. But for me, when it when I first spray it, it comes off with a little bit of a peppery vibe to it. And um and almost like a spicy, not like a not like a choking kind of peppery, but it's more of like a maybe a lemon pepper type of vibe. And then it settles down into the lavender. And then I think in the base it has a uh, sandalwood and amber if i'm not uh, mistaken but this is a really great fragrance this is a upscale type of uh fragrance kind of chic kind of um kind of uh when you're dressed up or you put together or or got your swag on that's what fragrance this one is this is really really good fragrance this is really good presentation also like this top is metal pretty heavy i don't know if you can hear but it's a really good fragrance. It's a good fragrance for actually for this time of the year, for the spring. It probably will work really good in the summer too, but you gotta get past that. For me anyway, I gotta get past that uh that opening, which has that little bit of a peppery vibe. That's that could be put off if you're if it's more than you know 90, 100 degrees outside. That could be a little choking. But yeah, that's what I wore on Saturday. <sighs> Oh my goodness. This is one of my favorite colognes on Sunday. Needs no introduction. This is Chadrat Boise by Mansara. This is one of my favorite fragrances. This is one of the fragrances that gets me the most compliments. This one, I, this is what I wore on Sunday. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. More than. More than a vintage. I don't have a vent, a big bottle of vintage, but I have a, I've had a few samples. More than um, CDM. 
uh, or any other clone that I have of uh, Inventus. This actually, to me, doesn't smell like Inventus. And more than, uh, what's the other fragrance? It's another fragrance that they said that smells like this. This fragrance gives me a lot of compliments, even when the dry down. I was, I had went to the gym and even after I came out the gym from working out, someone still gave me a compliment. So it's a long lasting and it's a really good fragrance. But this is, people do say it smells similar to Aventus. I don't think it smells that, that way. This one, the, this one has more of a fruit basket kind of vibe to it where Aventus is just really pineapple heavy and it has the birch. This one, I think it does have some wood in it, but this, this one right here, this, this, this is, this is, this is it. I have a little dent in it and that's only because, um, I've been using some other stuff. I've had, <laughs> I had a bunch of samples of this, but yeah. And I was thinking about getting the, um, the drop bars, a, I think it's intense, but I had a sample of it and to me it, it really didn't smell much different. It smelled a little bit sweeter than this, but it didn't smell much difference in the, the way it lasted. It didn't last as long. It felt a little bit heavier, but it didn't last as long as oil. Didn't last longer than the original um, Sidra Boise. So yeah, that's what I wore on Sunday. One of my favorites. And um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole week. So, thanks for hanging out with your boy. I appreciate your time. Stop back past and check me out next time. I'll catch you on the next one around. Deuces.